Yeah, well, I think we've got to go back to the 1930s when the LMS, that's the London Midland Cottage Railway, uh, built a class of engines totaling 52, which became the Patriot class. Unfortunately, all were scrapped after 25 to 30 years of service in the early 60s. And in recent years, uh, the project was formed to, uh, to build a new one of the class. They seem very popular among, among enth enthusiasts and uh, we should be steaming the loco next year, the project having been formed and officially launched April 2008. Gear at the moment, so you put the lock and wind the couple of around. That's your brake, your steam brake, and vacuum brake for your train. So there's no vacuum in it at the moment, so the brakes are on. So you all the valves are shut down, and your steam brake's in the on position there. Yep. That's your whistle there. There, you inject the steam valves, and there, you inject the water valve. So you push the valve down, you get water out of the overflow down there, crack your steam on. Ground, that puts water in the boiler, so that's how much water's in your boiler now. I got involved with Steam Loco at a very early age really, when my father started Steamtown Railway Museum in 1969 and bought an engine from British Railways in 1967, so I, I grew into it. I, I was, I've always been involved, I used to go come down the shed when I was a little boy with my mum and dad, and uh, I, I grew into it and I got interested in engineering and it's been my hobby for well, 30 odd years now, 40 years, ever since I could walk really, I've been messing around with steam locals. And now I work for West Coast Railways at Carford full time, uh, so my hobby's become my job. And I look after the steam fleet, uh, which includes this engine, Scott's Guardsman, right. and, the, and the others in the fleet. So I examine them and I'm riding fitter today, just if there's anything goes wrong with the local. I was always interested in steam railways uh, from a youth when I was young, like a lot of youngsters in the 50s and 60s. Uh, we were train spotters standing on stations, watching steam engines come and go, taking the numbers down. Uh, that waned as I grew up and, and steam went from the, the main lines of the railways. Uh, but as time went by, uh, railways like the one you can see behind me here at Berry. Were, were formed heritage railways and the industry grew and grew and lots of people especially of my age uh, reformed an interest and when I heard about a project to to build a, a Patriot class I got on board straight away because it's the class of loco I always liked. It's a growing industry really, the heritage railway industry, you know, it's, you know, uh, skills and, and the facilities died out, you know, when BR scrap steam, got rid of steam in 1968, shut the workshops, you know, but now heritage railways is growing so, so well and, and at, a, at an alarming rate really, you know, the leisure industry has grown hasn't it quite a lot and you competed with all the other le leisure industries but people like wine and dine trains sitting in Pullman carriages and riding behind steam. So, as a result of that, there's been a demand, you know, uh, a demand for apprentices and retraining and, and rekindling old skills. The, the railway industry as a whole uh, won't have a massive impact. There are more people travelling on the railways now uh, than ever. It's very, very busy and um, our, local, our local will have a, a bigger impact on the heritage scene, uh, which is railways like this one at Berry. Uh, although it will be, uh, will be running on the main lines when it can. Um, apparently Network Rail are quite keen to have steam on the, on the main line, it's good PR, 
and locos like ours help that but it has to be there in its place because it's a very busy railway these days so it will have a big impact uh, partly because it's not just a steam engine there are a number of other new build steam engines around or will be soon uh, but this loco is um, it's a memorial engine it's called the unknown warrior and it carries the uh, as on the, on the badge here carries the Royal British Legion crest um, and it's dedicated to all military personnel who died in First World War, Second World War and subsequent conflicts to date. So you look at what we do at Carlingford, you look at Riley's and Sons in Berry, you look at the Seven Valley, Tysler Loco Works, they're all developing their own skills and reinventing the wheel almost, where we're building new engines now, you know like Tornado's new engine they've built, the Patriot which has been built at Langoflin with their facilities, you know this everything can be made for steam locos now, you know, copper smiths to make the copper fire boxes, we can press all the play work for the boilers, we can cast wheels, we can make tyres, we can make cylinders, we can make axles, it's all there, you know, make, make a pattern, get a casting, get it machined, the biggest job's finding the drawings and getting the, de the design right, but it's all doable. Mm. We're getting a new cylinder made for this engine at the moment. So we've got the old drawing from the National Railway Museum and we've had it turned into a, a, a 3D CAD, a CAD drawing, getting a polystyrene pattern made on the CNC machine, and then we're getting the cylinder cast in Preston at uh, Malton mm. at uh, what they call Coop Foundry. So, uh, and then machine it, mm. plonk it in, in simple terms, probably about this six months work of plonking it in and drilling it all, getting it all lined up. Oh, okay. so the middle cylinder on this is it's, it's cracked and it's, yeah. it has to be managed gently for the rest of it, spoil the ticket, so the boiler expires in about three months time. So we'll take the boiler out for its ten yearly overhaul, and while the boiler's out, do some repairs on the frames and we you know the cylinder's poor, so we'll replace that at the same time. So, uh, yeah, everything is doable, you know. So it's, it's rekindling our old, what we were very good at and what we gave to the world, which was railways, wasn't it?